Hey there, I am back with another deck review, and today I'm going to be looking at a typographer's deck from Furkan Sinir and Art of Play. A Turkish based graphic designer, Furkan Sinir, collaborated with Art of Play to put together this deck that celebrates typography, which is basically the design and practice of arranging letters, typefaces, fonts to form words in kind of aesthetically pleasing ways. So, interesting topic for a deck. Let's see how it all came together. Starting with the tuck case, it's a pretty standard uh, glossy finish, no embossing, foiling tuck case. Uh, this off-white, almost cream color to it. Uh, it says very simply, a typographer's deck in fairly small font there in the center. And then you've got this relatively monochromatic set of uh, designs, flourishes, line work going all the way through. Really intricate, interesting patterns to it. Not really a discernible design of any sort. Doesn't really uh, look like a celebration of typefaces or anything, but it is a really nice, interesting pattern going all the way around. Um, I say monochromatic, but it does have little pops of color here on the four sides. And you can see that just little tiny colored lines and you got a teal, yellow, a red, and kind of a brown there. And then you have this lined border, kind of boulder around the outside. So interesting look to the front of it. Same exact design on the back. On the sides, you've got a typographer's deck with more of that line work. And then same thing on the other side. Bottom has your ad copy for Furkan Sinir and Art of Play. And then the top, designed by Furkan Sinir. And it's covered up by the custom tuck seal here, a teal tuck seal, which provides a nice kind of pop of color. And then you've got those four different colored uh, suits represented on the four cards on top. Uh, no printing on the interior of the tuck case other than the little flaps here. So just more of that line work, but the inside of the tuck case doesn't have anything. And that's it for the tuck. Uh, kind of a simpler tuck. Uh, really could have, I think, been popped uh, quite a bit with some extra embossing or something like that. Really would have given it a little bit of an interesting feel, but not a bad design to it. Let's take a look at the back design. It's going to be familiar. Uh, just a bolder, darker version of what we looked at on the tuck case. It's a two-way back design. Uh, features just tons of line work going all the way through, all in one color. You've got that striped border around the outside, and then just lots of different little interesting bits of line work. There's a couple little things you can pick out. Suns here, Xs. You've got that circle and kind of almost like wind coming out in the middle there. Uh, so... Interesting back design, a lot of detail to it, a thinner uh, poker, poker border around the outside, and just sort of a almost white, but barely off-white color to it. Now there's the back design. Let's flip over and look at the cards themselves. So extra cards you get, you do get two jokers, and you can see the bold celebration of font really come to life on these. I like these jokers quite a bit. You got the blue and the red. The blue is almost a teal, and the red's uh, more of a pure red. Uh, both say Joker, so J-O-K-E-R, with a little star block. Uh, so the same design on the two of them, just a different color. And then you've got the stripes coming through in the background, adding a little bit of extra color. So you've got mostly these off-white stripes, and then you've got the colored stripes. Same color pattern we saw before, with that red, yellow, the teal, the brown, uh, kind of providing a little bit of an extra pop of color. Uh, I like the kind of retro vibe that you get with this. It's kind of a good mix of kind of modern use of fonts here with a little bit of a retro color scheme. So there's your two jokers. You also get a uh, double backer and an ad card for for Consonier's design office. Mentions his uh, website there as well. Uh, the rest of the deck. So every single one is going to feature a really bold design and obviously is going to feature fonts pretty heavily. Uh, so they all are going to say the name of the card in the center here. You've got these little banners in the side with a small pip and index there in the corner. And then the large teal ace of spades here. So the black cards are going to be more of a teal coloring. Uh, has more line work. Uh, I like the, the shadowing that's on the line work. Kind of gives it a little bit of depth here. And it says Ace of Spades in the center. And then each one of the cards is going to feature some different interesting fonts. Uh, all of the black cards, again, are going to be featuring teal. So you've got the two of spades here. They're all going to have those stripes somewhere on the card, that extra pop of color. So you got it up here in the corner and then across the back there. 
but really cool designs to the cards while still maintaining those pips and indices in the corner to keep them as a fairly usable deck. And you can kind of see here all the different uh, types of fonts that you get on these. Everything from kind of more, this is to me a little bit more of an older, more retro looking font, maybe something you'd see in the like 70s. Uh, here's one that's even older than that, maybe a, I don't know, 40s or 50s kind of font there. And then to more modern looking ones like this nine of spades. I like that 10 of spades. And then all of your court cards are going to follow the same pattern. So you've got the words written out. So you're not going to get actual court characters. You're going to have the words Jack of Spades, Jack of Spades. But unlike the number cards, these feature a much bolder blue background. So white lettering with a blue background there. So Jack and Queen, King of Spades. Here's your Ace of Diamonds. So Ace of Diamonds. Aces are the only cards in the deck that are not two-way. Uh, your red's going to be a little bit of a bolder red, uh, traditional red color. Maybe a little brighter than regular. And then more of the same. I really like that retro coloring on the three of diamonds there. Now I'll start flipping through these a little bit faster. Nine of diamonds. There's your ten. And then your court card's going to be back to the color uh, being the primary background. So you've got the red background for the Jack Queen King of Diamonds. There's your club courts. And then down through the numbers, just all different fonts on these. And that's one of my favorites here. Love that uh, shadowing um, and the depth you get on that one. It's Ace of Clubs, and then your Heart Quartz, and down through the rest of the cards. And finishing, as always, with Ace of Hearts. Almost looks like a box of chocolates there. So that's the cards themselves. Uh, handling, like most decks from uh, from Art of Play, is going to be really, really nice. It's a thinner stock that you get with a lot of the uh, Art of Play decks. Fans, really nice. Uh, that thin border gives you a little bit of a chance to show a little bit more uh, flavor on your fans there. Uh, so fans cuts are all going to handle really, really nicely. Printed by USBCC, so you know what you're getting when you get those. Uh, use of the deck. It's a fairly functional deck, I would say, for gameplay. Uh, you know, normally this in the center here, not having the pips would be a little distracting, but you do have these small pips in the corner that keep it pretty usable. Uh, definitely good differentiation between your traditional black and red cards with that teal versus red. Uh, you know, so you could use this for gameplay for sure. It would be an interesting deck to use for cardistry. Um, and kind of that contrast between the almost black and white on this side and then huge pops of color on the other side, I think would be interesting. Uh, magic, maybe a little less so. It's maybe a little bit too non-traditional of a deck to use for magic. But that's uh, that's the look at the typographer's deck. Hope you enjoyed that. I think it's an, it's an interesting deck. Uh, definitely a different sort of theme. I like the different fonts they use on the faces. It's not going to be the deck for everybody for sure. But definitely an interesting kind of different deck to have in the collection. And love having one that goes after fonts and typography because I think there's a lot of beauty that can be found in those. So hope you enjoyed. Let me know if there's other decks you want to see. Uh, subscribe for more deck reviews and unboxings. I'm always putting up more of those. And I will see you for the next one.